just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. De Costa, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Commander. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. We've got I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Never seen Welcome this ship to right the Earth before. Colony ship. Then again, I haven't seen any ships. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. We were never trained to address threats coming from an outsider ship. Just stay out of trouble. So, here we are. Let's talk. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? We know there's a settlement on the planet below, meaning people were here before us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise, work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such. But initially, I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond, and we'll go from there. Thank you, and Godspeed. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Just because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work to take down trouble. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to Careful waving that fancy gun around. Let's 
that this bird had formed. Stay, knowing you're in our capable hands. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? <laughs> Neither. We're our own private force. The Paradiso group pays top dollar for top-notch security. And I dare say we're some of the best in the business. We have to be out here on the fringes of the settled systems. Something I can help you with? Ah, it has a name. Good. Then you're already familiar with the situation, I take it. Do you know what they want? Interesting. We obviously have no records of a colony ship claiming this planet. Whatever the case, you'll need to speak with Oliver Campbell. A CEO for the Paradiso Group, he's in charge of bringing all formal decisions before the board and helping to make calls on them. I'll let him know you're on your way. You'd think we'd be a prime target for pirates, but they know to stay away for the most part. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope you'll stay. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. We've got some of the best private I just feel that we people. should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. If it's not important, bring it up with Kiwi. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not gonna work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. 
Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter is official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benno St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Paradiso Security is only here for your safety. Hello. Don't worry about us. Constant is a peaceful ship. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside the ship. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean we didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Mm, difficult is the wrong word. It can be both challenging at times, and also exciting. Our mission was to rebuild humanity on a distant world, believing that we were Earth's last hope. To think that while there has always been a bracken ridge in the captain's chair, that I am the one to finally oversee our journey's end is truly exhilarating. But with this stumbling block in our path, at this final moment, I fear tough choices will need to be made. A bit frazzled, as you can imagine. People are anxious about discovering that we're not alone, and also worried about what will come to pass. While we hope we can work out a deal with the people on the surface, they seem reluctant to reach out, so there's no telling what will come of that. I do know that we can't afford to stay here in orbit forever. The ship was built to sustain us for many years with backup provisions just in case, but even that will come to an end eventually. Safe travels to you. Thank you. Waving that fancy gun around, you don't need to see me.
drive, all good to go, Cap. I don't want to hear any complaints. Yes? Keep an eye on your valuables. We'd be dust, except for the factory. Sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think you could spare some time. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grav drive that looks like it could be compatible. With some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor and it's yours. <laughs> You're done right it is. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Better than working with you.
We've got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. I can't tell you how many times I've had to make do with inelegant solutions to complex technical problems. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are! Welcome, welcome! I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Ah, I knew it. It's, it's incredible! I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. Amazing! I'll have to learn more. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. What crab drive? <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right, this will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Great, great, great! There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it! These are exciting times, aren't they?
never seen a ship like yours before. But then again, I haven't seen it. give my crew a chance at a new life. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. strict rules around here. a moment to hear about the low house it mean a lot to me and to others good to know there's still some folks who can take an interest in the welfare of others the low house is a place where folks down on their luck can get a hot meal and a bed to sleep in more importantly they can do it with some dignity no need to beg or steal everything's given with no questions asked and no favors old I run the place have for years. But to do it, I have to rely on the kindness of others. Trying to, anyway. Look, I'll be honest with you. We get a little help from some other wealthier folks in the city, but it's barely enough. It takes credits to provide for those in need. 
and I'm hoping you'll be willing to contribute. If you can spare a few credits, it'll do a lot of good. Thank you. I don't know if you believe in karma, but I do. I think you just end yourself some. can only help that if you're serious i'm drowning in work philborn agriculture systems fits basically everyone in the stretch bless the philborn brothers but their latest intelliweed shipment is late i'm not worried yet but getting there could you ask sarah philborn what the hold up is very politely this is a huge help if there's anything you can do to speed up the wheat delivery, please do it. I'll have more work for you when you get back. We need to be smarter, better in the Weston needs to get his brother focused on food production instead of wasting time brewing beer. If I ran things, we wouldn't have this problem. If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere, either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry. My nerves are frayed. So many people coming and going for the company. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Henry's the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company. And now all he wants to do is brew beer. Philburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Seems those two are content to think small. Well, I wish you were the one I had to convince. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? <sighs> I know, we're late. It's been this whole frustrating episode. Short version, the farming equipment outside the walls needs to be manually rebooted. But the guards aren't going to be able to send people to fix it for days. We're committed to helping the unfortunates on the stretch, but the Ashta are just too dangerous for us to send someone. You would do that? If you get it rebooted, I'll get the harvest going ASAP. We can get the weed to Amira quick. I'll talk with my husband, but I'm sure we could arrange payment. You'd be helping our business, too, after all. Just... just be careful. Ashta are very dangerous.
shift goes along again. Don't get the emergency funds empty, so please hurry. That is good, good news. Uh, what was the holdup anyway? Oh, that makes sense. Aren't they outside the walls? Wait, you went outside the walls, didn't you? Please don't risk yourself like that. If anyone got hurt working for the low house, I hate to ask it. But this next errand should be safe. Easy. Everything runs on charity. And our benefactors, though kind, I think sometimes... Well, get sick of seeing me. A new face may ease up the purse strings. Or at least save me some errands. It's touch and go, sometimes. Pest are too much, and they could turn their back on the project. Too little, and people suffer. So, the mayor, Elias Cartwright, has always been generous to us, but it's been a while since he's donated. Raisha Lanz is a huge benefactor. Laredo Firearms has been vital for us. Both of those are routine. More polite reminders, really. The last is a long shot, probably futile. But the Trade Authority is incredibly wealthy and they have never ever donated to us. If you could convince Duncan Lynch to give us anything, heck, a single credit even, I'd consider it a victory. You are a breath of fresh air. Once you're done with that, come back to me. If you ever are down on your luck, our door is always open. Hello there. So good to see you. <sighs> Aquila City truly is the jewel of the Free Star Collective. What day is it? Oh, shoot. I forgot. I'll send over my usual monthly donation to Amira. She truly is a wonder. And with the building project her and Mr. Tate are planning, there may be a day when the stretch is a distant memory. I'll talk with Amira later. I didn't mean to cause any problems. Between thwarting bank robberies and helping the stretch, you have the city's thanks. Truly. A genuine pleasure talking to you. to Aquila City's Trade Authority. Do you have business with the Trade Authority? The Trade Authority has a firm policy of not getting involved in internal matters. We're neutral in all affairs of the governments of the Free Star Collective and the United Colonies. The Trade Authority's image is doing quite well already. Thank you very much. I'm done discussing this matter. You have a great day.
pleased you chose to visit us today. Oh. So Amira has some help? Good. She's going to work herself into an early grave if she's not careful. Laredo Firearms prides itself in helping out all the residents of Aquila City. I'll send Justin over to deliver our monthly donation. Well, if the Rangers think the Low House needs more help, I'll tell Amira that Laredo is ready to help the community more. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Thank you for coming by. Cartwrights have been donating to the Low House for generations. And Raisha increased her donations. Substantially. Very substantially. I, I don't know what to say. No word from the Trade Authority. I'm sorry I even asked. I like to believe everyone is capable of empathy and compassion, but people like Duncan test my faith. Some days are easier than others. For example, because of you today is one of the days which gives me strength instead of sapping it. Sarah Philborn gave me these credits to give to you for your help with the farm. You more than deserve it. And people say I'm too altruistic. I have one more thing for you to do, but I hope it's more of a reward. This is part of the Intelliwit Harvest. I'd like you to deliver it to Simone Jansen and her family. I want you to see the fruits of your labors. What's the word for that again? Uh, I just need a real chance. Amira said to expect you. This wheat ensures my family won't go to bed hungry. I, I genuinely don't know what my family would do without Amira. And uh, you, you have no idea how much it means. Over here in Aquila, it's humbling to see regular people just looking after us. On behalf of my family, of my daughter, bless you. <laughs> 